Do we need to do another example? Of course we need to do another example. So let's go. Watch how fast you can do these things now. First things first, determine that non-permissible value. Okay, so x plus 2 cannot equal to 0. Bring the 2 over, x cannot equal to minus 2. But don't forget, that determines your vertical asymptote. But your vertical asymptote has to be expressed as a equation. So you have to have it as an equal sign. So it's x equals to minus 2. Note the difference. That's where I get people all the time. And you don't need to be... Uh, Okay, enough said. So minus two is right here. Na 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 na. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. There's our vertical asymptote. Yippee skippy. Okay, so let's keep on going. So now you can go right into this and say, okay, let's find the horizontal asymptote. Oh, simple. Okay, you had the x equals to minus two here already, so just go right into synthetic. Synthetic tells you this is minus three, that's minus four. Bring that down, that's minus three. Minus three times minus two is six. Add that together, that's two. There you go. Write it out. Minus three plus your division statement. Two over x plus two, and you find out that the horizontal asymptote is at minus three. So you go down to minus three and go dun 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 there you go. Now let's put some accuracy to this wonderful thing. Ready? Okay. First things first is let's find then our beautiful x and y intercepts. X intercept happens, y equals to zero. So make the zero. Zero equals two minus three x minus four over x plus two cross multiply but a boom you get a zero so this is now zero equals to minus three x minus four bring the minus four over making it positive divide by minus three x equals two of course four over minus three so that works out to be minus one and a third and a third there we go wow that's an ugly looking three there we go minus one of the third so minus one and a third is about here Beautiful. Now, let's find out the y-intercept. Y-intercept happens when x's are equal to 0. So guess what? That's gone. That's gone, leaving you with y equals to minus 4 over 2, which equals minus 2. There's your y-intercept at minus 2. There we go, right there. Now, check this out. You can actually start graphing this right now. Look at that. It goes right through there, right through there. Now, again, since you don't have a nice point on this side of the graph, pick one. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to pick. Well, take a look up here. Let's find something nice. Let's take, um, I don't know. Let's take at x equals to minus 4. Let's do it. Okay. Clean this up. 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 Here we go. Perfect. Let's go x equals to minus 4. So let's figure out what y equals to. So minus 3 times minus 4 minus 4 over minus 4 plus 2. Okay. 3 times minus 4 is positive. 12 minus 4 over minus 2. 12 minus 4, of course, is no thanks already. Over minus 2. Okay. 8 divided by minus 2, of course, is going to give us minus 4. So at minus 4, I'm going to get minus 4. So there's my point right here. So now you can start graphing it with fair amount of accuracy. Look at that. There you go. There's your graph all done. And look at that. That took us 3 minutes and 51 seconds. Ah, can we do this well?